This training video is how to use HLS to auto-generate a beat track. Now, in doing so, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the DSP and how you can do a beat track. But once you understand enveloping and DSP and level setting, um, you can use the capabilities to extract and set uh, effects at almost any type of musical instrument or whatever. Okay, so let's first start off. This is the audio window where my mouse is. And we're looking at both the left and right channel. We can look at the left channel alone, and we can look at the right channel alone. Okay. Um, a lot of what we're going to do is going to be with the left channel. So let's just look at the left channel alone. This is a music uh, dancer, and there are some nice beats in this area. I will show you. Let's play from this mark here. That's a map particular error. So what we want to do is auto-generate a, a beat track to those beats. So let's go to Manage Channels, and I'll show you how we can do it in both. We're going to add two channels, and we're just going to call them Beat, okay? There's nothing special about it. We're just going to call it Beat. We're going to make one of them an RGB channel. Let's come on over here. And I'm going to modify my display group here to add those two channels. So, now yeah, what happened? I don't show one of those as being a RGB. Oh, it's a background. Wrong thing. There we go. Now we got an RGB channel. Okay, so what is DSP? DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing. It allows us mathematically to take a waveform and separate that waveform into its frequencies and energy levels. So we're going to come over here and we're going to bring up the DSP function. You've got a high pass, which says Anything above a certain frequency, we want to work on. Anything below it, we want to squelch it. A low pass says anything above, we want to squelch, and we only want the stuff that's lower. And a bypass or a band pass down here is something in the middle. Okay. A high frequency, you might want to use that to separate out, let's say, violins or a ding-a-ding -ding of a little high bell. A low pass is what we want to use for the bass because you've got a drum beat, you've got a bass. Band pass, you might want to go in and pull out a certain, uh, like a trumpet, or you might want to get a, uh, a vocal or whatever. We're going to do a low pass. Now, you've got to think to yourself, where is, where does, uh, what frequency uh, occurs when you're using a drum beat? We're just going to pick 400 here, okay? This order is how steep of the curve. A typical order of one is a 3 dB roll-off. So we've got 10 of them, okay? We've got a level of two. So we're going to press this, meaning we're going to look at it. And without being both channels, it's only going to filter the left channel. That's why we're looking at the left channel only, okay? So it's now running mathematically through. So anything that's less than 400 hertz, we're going to squish. And if you look up here, that's exactly what we did. We come now. Oh, okay. It's not letting me move my scale. So we're going to come over here. And now all of a sudden we can come down here and you can see you've got these nice beats coming out. Okay. Those are your drum beats that are there. And if we play that, you can hear that. Okay. So, using DSP, we were able to go in, we took the left channel, and we uh, uh, enhanced 
the low frequency, which is the drum beat, we threw away all the voices and the uh, violins and everything else. Now what can we do with that? So then we come over here and we want to do an envelope. An envelope is going to look at the waveform on our left channel, because we're going to say left channel, and it's going to try to measure. See, you've got a cell here, and within that tick mark, there are thousands upon thousands of audio levels. It's going to attempt to figure out what an average or what uh, uh, energy level exists within that. So let's just pick one there. There you go. And you see this little red stair step. Well, the bottom here is zero and the top is 100. So this is a stair step, stair step. We've digitized this audio waveform into basically energy levels. And that's the first step in having it auto uh, create a beat track. Because we have to take this audio and we have to somehow put it into nice little steps. If you see down here, there's very little, so it's very low. As we move along and we hit one of our beats, you can see that the envelope level jumps way up. Then she comes down, jumps way up, and comes down. Okay? So first step is to get an envelope. Then we can come down. And if you want, you can save that envelope. I won't go into it here, but you can save this envelope, which is this red line. And as long as you have it checked here, it'll display it. So once you've created your envelope, you can bring it back and do it whatever. What we want is an envelope profile. So we're going to hit New. Now we come over here and let's slide this over. What this allows us to do is this is going to say pick a channel and then do something based on these levels. Okay, So we will do a black and white. So we're going to come down here and pick Beat Track 2, which is a, which is a black and white channel. Now we're going to enable this level bar which is going to be a level, uh, a yellow bar running across. And it's at zero, so it's shorted now. But don't know if you can see it. There's the yellow right there. So what we can do is we can bring this up, and we can measure exactly where these beats are, these levels are. Now, this is music. So not all beats are going to have the same energy amplitude. So we want to be able to come in here, and find a yellow that at least hits all of our beats, okay? And um, looks like about 68 is pretty good. Let's do a 65, okay? So the first thing you always want to start off is zero. Zero, we're going to say to 65, is going to be a value of zero. We don't want any beats if the energy level is less than 65. 100 is the max, okay? So you're dealing with a scale of zero to 100. From 66 to 100, we're going to have an effect level of 100, okay? And now we're going to hit OK. It's going to say, hey, we're going to remove. If you have any effects on that beat track, they're going to be gone if we continue. We say, yes, we understand it. There they are. Now you have your tracks. You have an automated so wherever this envelope was between 65 and 100, now you have a beat, okay? Let's do it again, but let's show you how you can do it in color. So we went zero. Let's go show you this one. Let's go zero to 50 is going to be zero. Let's do 50 to... 70 is going to be 100, but it's going to be red. Then we're going to go 70 to 85. It's going to be 100, but we're going to make it blue. And then we're going to go 85 to 100 at 100 intensity. And we'll make this one green. Okay. Now this is just a show. So, and we got to pick our channel. And we don't want, that's a black and white. So we have to come down here and say include RGB channels. Now it's going to give us, there's our beat. And our beat one is our RGB channel. Now we hit OK. 
and there you go. So now on a mono channel, you can have intensity levels. I can go in, instead of putting everything at 100%, I could ju just have used a mono level, and I'll get shades of gray. On this one, I chose to use a color level, and now right away you can look at different colors and get an idea of exactly what level you're, you end up looking at. All right, so that is how, very simply, that is how you can use DSP, envelope, envelope processing to automatically generate a beat track or any other set of effects you want to do that's associated with your audio. I hope you enjoyed it.